So who am I speaking with? Uh, hi, my name is Chris Schalk. I'm a developer advocate at Google, and I work on the cloud technologies. Uh, that means both Google App Engine as well as some of our newer cloud technologies, such as Google Storage for Developers um, and Google Prediction API, and then BigQuery. So that's why I'm here today at Foothill. I'm going to be talking about those technologies today, and then tomorrow we're doing a, a workshop on uh, Google App Engine. And as, I've, uh, uh, as I understand, uh, Prediction Engine is the one that's everyone's jazzed by. So explain, what is it? What does it do? Okay, yeah, actually there is a lot, quite a bit of interest in this new prediction engine. Uh, basically what it is is like you can provide a set of test data or a set of like seed data uh, into the engine and you give it like for example, we have an example on our website, for example, if we provide a bit of French text or a bit of English text or Spanish text and we train the engine to say this is Spanish, this is French, this is English. And then later on we, we can then give it a bit of text which could be any of those languages and just by providing a sample it will then predict what the language is. And so that in a nutshell is what the prediction or how the prediction engine works. You provide a little bit of, of data, you test it or you train it, and then later on you can use that same uh, train data to then predict as you have new input coming in. So tell me like two or three cool, cool examples of people using the prediction engine that you were completely jazzed by. Well, I think probably the the big thing, or at least one of the things I've noticed recently, is we've we've been interacting with a lot of like people who are working in social medias and social technologies in general, and they really find it very intriguing to be able to essentially, uh, because they're constantly dealing with lots of or large volumes of texts that are coming from different people from you know different backgrounds or or just you know when people post like uh, something on Twitter or anything like that, um, you can start to take some of this information and then make predictions based off of uh, similar uh, patterns in the past. So. In that case, I would say there's definitely a lot of interest in the social area across the board. I actually come from the open social when we worked on the, uh, those technologies before. So I've seen a lot of like neat applications. Um, from just real simple, fun stuff to do, I, I've seen anything like ranging from like a real simple example of like a cuisine predictor. Like if you have a, a menu and you want to just quickly turn, figure out what, what the uh, cuisine is, something simple like that is doable in, in like five minutes of just playing with the technology. Um, I actually show that today in our little uh, session that we're doing today, how you can actually in five minutes create your own little predic prediction engine and then turn it on and have it you know predict stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of examples. If you go to the website, um, code.google.com slash API slash predict, um, um, you can understand very quickly how to use it, and you can also sign up for a preview. So it is preview right now uh, for the U.S., uh, but you know we're, we're going to be turning that on to make it actually a full production. But right now, anyone can sign up and start playing around with the technology and, and get up to speed pretty pretty quickly. And just very last question, is there anything, or where do, where do you see sort of the future for a prediction engine like this? I mean, it sounds like it's pretty powerful, but... Uh, uh, my head isn't going to where it possibly could be. Where, where do you think the future is? So the future, I, I, it's something that you wouldn't even notice probably. I would say just you know in your normal interactions with various websites, you're going to see probably a little bit better uh, custom um, you know, like obviously, yeah, there's an example of where you can have better targeted ads, but just in general, if you have like an interaction with any types of websites, as long as you get data coming in, like there's an input stream of data, which you can then start making decisions, uh, you'll see better functionality across the board in various websites.